Chris, thanks. We'll be waiting for that. Meantime, hell on earth tonight. That is how former Hamilton High School football coach Steve Bellis is describing the last four months in his program. That what it's been like in the center of that hazing scandal there. Breaking his silence in an interview with Brad Sussman on Sports 360 AZ, Bellis says had he known his players were being assaulted, he says he would have acted. How can a head coach of a program not know? That's been the most commonly asked question of me, and I'm sure you've rolled that through your head more than a few times. Yeah. I mean, it's a fair question. I mean, I, I think if we would have known, we would have taken action. There's no question. We would not have uh, swept something like this under the rug. Uh, we would have taken immediate action. Um, but if you don't know and you have asked the questions to the people, uh, some of the people it actually might have happened to, um, and they're saying no to you, I mean, we're football coaches, we're teachers, we're not investigators, and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. But when you simply get no, 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 and you're like, okay, then this must just be a lot of hearsay and stuff like that. Earlier this month, Bellis was removed from his role, but will stay at the school as a teacher. Several of his former players are now facing charges, including one as an adult.